Full disclaimer, this is not to cause any drama or any targeted harassment. This is just to clear the air around the situation and get my thoughts and evidence. As someone who makes a living off of this game, yes, it does concern me. <sighs> okay, so I didn't plan on making this video at all. Until I got a DM in the super secret Binding of Isaac YouTuber Discord from Cnetto, where he sent this clip. At face value, it seems nothing is wrong with it. Just a fade out transition in the middle of a boss trap room. Makes sense, right? Well, look closer. You'll see that after Nyan picks up dinner, a screen transition happens, and then after that transition, it rolls into the Star of Bethlehem. He is playing Tainted Eden, by the way. But how can this be? Those are from completely different item pools, with Bethlehem Star only being found on the Angel Room pool. How did this happen? I mean, it doesn't make any sense to come out of that room with the same amount of items, but one of those being from a different pool. A glitch, perhaps? Well, unlikely. See, pay even closer attention. What item did he pick up before dog food? Star of Bethlehem, which is from an Angel Room pool room. When you use the console to give yourself an item, it copies the pool you last took it from, meaning that if you take an item from an Angel pool room, then give yourself an item, and then re-roll it, it'll re-roll into an Angel room item. But BD1P, if that's true, then because he picked up dinner, Active Contrition would then become a boss trap pool re-roll, right? And yes, that is true which puts us back on square one. Where did this extra angel room pool item come from? This is gonna get pretty confusing. It was for all of us, so let's take it slow. There is a hidden command in Isaac called Rewind, which activates the glowing hourglass effect. Let's say Neon gets hit in a room, rolls into a bad roll, and now that he sees that roll coming, he can use the Rewind command to exit the room and try again. But if the roll is bad, wouldn't we inevitably see it again? I mean, everything in Isaac is seated, right? Wouldn't these rerolls also be seated? Well, yes, kind of, maybe no, L let me explain. Rolls in Isaac are seated, meaning if I enter in seed A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and start with Cricket's head, getting hit with only Cricket's head will result in that reroll always being, let's say, the sad onion. But there is a way to circumvent this. By picking up any other item, it will offset your rerolls, and with enough items in your inventory, eventually, rolls become truly random. This is not dependent on how many items you pick up before a reroll, rather, the amount of items you have on you as a whole. Think of it like a butterfly effect, where if you only have one item, the effect only changes that one item. And since that change was so small, it's constant. Now, add 14 items in there. The change will gradually become more randomized and less controllable because there are more variables to work with. So going back to our analogy, let's say Neon saw the roll with dog food and didn't like it. So after using Rewind, he gave himself a random item. At this point in the run, the last thing he touched or picked up was the Star of Bethlehem from an Angel Room pool because he used the Rewind command. So, when he gives himself an item, it will roll into the Angel pool of items. Now all he has to do is walk into the room, pick up dog food, use the console commands to remove dog food, and now he has the same amount of items. One transition later, and nobody knows the difference. Because he is playing Tainted Eden, Nobody would know the difference anyways, because every item will always get rerolled. This is also probably why Neon shows literally every single reroll he gets as it happens, except for this one, where he gave himself items without the proper knowledge that it wasn't from the right pool. But again, that is not all, because yet another item was also rolled from a different pool. The item Broken Modem was hated by a lot of people in Afterbirth Plus, but was notably buffed in Repentance, allowing it to freeze enemies and delete tears, a pretty good item. In the run, previous to the reroll, Nyan himself has Broken Modem, which is from the shop pool. So then why did the item roll into a boss pool item? If we use our previous knowledge of how item pools work, we know that he just as easily could have given himself Broken Modem and given 15 cents back to his donut machine. The last item he picks up before getting Broken Modem was Pageant Boy from the boss pool, meaning that again, this logic checks out. I mean, why buy an item when you can save all of your money and then just give yourself that same item for free? Even if all these accusations sound super far-fetched, you cannot deny that what happened is by logic in repentance not allowed to happen. So now, let's summarize, and then look at things in defense of Neon. 
and his side of things. First off, a quick summary. Because Hated Eden is a finicky character, YouTuber NeonTuber made use of Isaac's hidden rewind command to take advantage of a good build that he had. After using that command, he then gave himself an item to compensate for dog food being a bad reroll. He then cut the video to after he got hit to disguise the fact that his items were slightly different, and therefore re-rolled differently. Along with that, he also gave himself broken modem, due to either losing it in an off-camera roll or just to save some pennies. The single most incriminating part of this video being the fact that he had no trouble showing all the other times he got hit, except for this one time when the very suspicious things happened. But something wasn't sitting right with me. Why fake the first run of a streak? Why not just start over? I mean, the videos are edited anyways and not done live, nor is the title screen shown before the run. So he's not going for some insane record, right? If legitimacy of the run mattered that much to him, it wouldn't be edited and it would be more formal. Which got me thinking. While all the evidence pointed towards cheating, none of the pathos was there to back it up. There was no need to cheat in a run like this so blatantly, when just starting over was both easier and less stressful, which led to further testing. After recreating the situation over and over, me and Discord member Watching Machine discovered quite the interesting feature in Repentance. Despite boss pool items being taken from the boss pool, they actually mimic the previous pool collected from. Since it is just a naturally spawned pedestal on the ground, it doesn't have any ties. Along with that, we recreated what happened with Broken Modem. Because he exited the shop and picked up a boss item, then went back and purchased Broken Modem, the game thought it was a boss pool item, since buying an item is seen as very different than just picking up a random pedestal item. So that's it, right? He didn't cheat? We now at this point in the video arrive at a fork. We have explanation for the bugs, but also reasoning for cheating. All of our explanations, both cheating and legit, lead to the same buggy outcome. But since all the bugs are possible within a given run, that will mean, benefit of the doubt, he's innocent, right? Well, not quite, because I have found something that nobody else seems to have caught. Look very closely at the Star of Bethlehem. Now, let's slow that down frame by frame. You can see that after the reroll, the star is still moving horizontally for a few frames before coming down, meaning it has traveled into this room from the previous one. Now, take a look at this clip from my testing. You can see that rerolling out of and back into Star of Bethlehem actually resets its position to the dead center of the room, meaning that if this roll was legit, we would have seen the star travel straight down instead of horizontally. To expand further, because when the video cuts back he is no longer in iframes, we can assume that he was hit about 2-3 to three seconds before we fade back in, meaning in those few seconds, the star would have already been in the process of moving straight down from its reset position. There is no logical reasoning for the star to be anywhere near the center of this room. Unless, of course, we take into account cheating. In order to prevent the star from disappearing, you need to give yourself two copies of Star of Bethlehem, so that one is removed or re-rolled, the OG entity doesn't move, which is precisely what happens here. If the star was a natural re-roll, it would have began dead center and been moving straight down when we cut back in. So, what does this mean? Did he actually cheat? and just get lucky that a known bug coincided with his console plays, or was the run legit? Did he give himself broken modem, or is the shop pool also bugged to death much like the trap room? Is the star of Bethlehem the lie detector, or does it prove his honesty? In the end, this comes down to the personal belief in the person behind the channel. When you watch an Isaac video, are you watching for the commentary, the skill, or just general gameplay? If you watch for the commentary, then this should not bother you at all you're still getting the main thing you came for, a conversation. If you watch for the skill, well, I would watch edited streak videos with a grain of salt. Not to imply that anyone in specific fakes their runs, but just to be wary. To give my final thoughts, do I think Neon cheated? And while it's hard to say, I'm going to lean more towards no. Who knows what other bugs exist within this character? And while I was able to get the boss pool to mimic the previous item's pool, as well as the shop, I still can't explain the Star of Bethlehem. But then again, this game is still in its baby era, so there are probably some more bugs that exist that we just don't know about. 
The issue only becomes a problem when people are going for records or making a large deal out of it to their fans or audience, such as a speedrun or a longest streak world record kind of deal, most of which need a bit more legitimacy. I don't think that's what Neon was going for here, but form your own opinions and let me know down below what you think. In the meantime guys, it's been BD1P, peace out and good night.